Hello, welcome to another video um, and welcome to the, um, the, uh, the mean streets of uh, one of London's roughest, most sketchy neighbourhoods. It's called Belgravia. Um, for some historical quirk, this just happens to be where my dentist is. And then I thought while I'm in this neck of the woods, I might do a bit of a wander around, perhaps more pubs, follow on from uh, yesterday's slightly off piste video. There we uh, have the Plumber's Arms, made famous by the uh, disappearance of Lord Lucan. That was the, uh, the pub that Lady Lucan fled to. Um, on the night of those events in, uh, was that 1974, sometime around then. This is, um, this is Elizabeth Street, which were it not for the uh, constant thoroughfare of the cars going through, a bit unavoidable. Um, it's probably one of London's nicest streets. This is probably my favorite restaurant in the world, um, because they make what I consider to be the best pizza in the world. They're uh, pizza au fungi. Hopefully give you a glimpse of that in a moment. This is, this is all good news. I thought he was gonna come out with one of those needles they plunge into your body. All right. Um, <laughs> Do you want to quickly say hello to my, uh, my 37 YouTube subscribers? <laughs> this is my friend Walter. Uh, we're at uh, my, my, my favorite Italian restaurant, favorite restaurant in the world. Um, poor Walter has just been stung <laughs> by a wasp. Uh, and the manager has brought out a um, um, a, a garlic clove. Uh, it's apparently an ancient yeah. Sardinian or Italian <laughs> remedy. Um, but these guys are, um, you know, they're not, they're not showing us any mercy. Actually, that, that's more like a bee there. Yeah, I think, the honey bee. Yeah, honey yeah. bee would have been they're my friend, fine. but the yellow jacket less so. so. We get the sign in. Where's that? It's over here. Um, well, I've um, waved Walter off. Profuse apologies for uh, putting him in a situation where he got a stung. Where he got, where he got stung by a wasp, um, which was a bit sad. But he seems to have recovered well. Um, I'm at the Duke of Wellington. Cheers. Uh, so the uh, the Duke of Wellington. Um, this is, um, I suppose, the sort of border of. Belgravia, if you go a bit further that way, it turns into Sloan Square and suddenly the pubs dry up and stop. I'm, uh, I'm not really a car person, but you know, even I um, think that's quite a beautiful thing. The um, antelope there, uh, rather a pretty pub again. Um, they're very good at the uh, hanging baskets. Um, Belgravia pubs um, would normally consider stopping there. I think that's the uh, it's the first pub I ever took my daughter to. Uh, we just happened to be I don't know shopping around the corner or something. She was just a few weeks old. Um, but um, the uh, the joy and the um, um, also the challenge of Belgravia is that it is surprisingly overflowing with very nice pubs and uh, always scaffolding and building work. Sadly, but. Um, um, slightly nicer in that direction. Good old Belgravia is surprisingly filled with excellent pubs, and you wouldn't think it. You know, if you go to um, go a bit further over to uh, Chelsea, say, an absolute wasteland, nothing. Um, and I don't know why it is, but um, surprisingly decent pubs seem to have survived, and, and kind of pubby pubs as well. That's the important distinction. These are not gastro pubs. Which I don't consider to be uh, to be pubs. Gastro pubs are a parasitic entity that is uh, inhabiting the carcass of a dead pub. Uh, they are not pubs. Um, but um, amazingly, for all the crazy wealth in Belgravia, you know there are houses here costing not just tens of millions, probably into the hundreds of millions. Um, for all the crazy wealth and all that you'd think. The sorts of people who own these houses are unlikely to be popping down their local for a pint um, of a Friday evening or a Tuesday lunchtime. For all that, in between the cracks in the mews, these um, 
surprisingly nice pub to survive. Uh, presumably they were there originally for the uh, the workers, the big houses, the servants I suppose, the, uh, the grooms, the, the butlers maybe, uh, the kitchen staff. Um, they're usually some of the nicest, nice, nicer ones are um, tucked away in the, in the mews, the sort of little back streets where the uh, coaches would have been kept. They uh, they live on. Uh, Belgravia is mostly uh, 1830s, um, um, 19th century anyway. At some point, most of these terraces, but you occasionally see this um, um, slightly out of place bit of infill architecture that looks more sort of uh, 1930s I would guess um, kind of deco era this is uh, a classic example of a Belgravia muse um, the German embassy is at one end of it you can see it has these uh, small houses a lot of them with sort of garages attached which at one time would have been um, I believe where uh, stabling uh, coach and horses were kept for the uh, the big houses. Now um, private houses in their own right, and um, really bloody expensive ones as well. Um, anyway, um, we are here for uh, classic Belgravia Muse Pub, the Star Tavern, and uh, you know, aside from the uh, unfortunate wheelie bins out the front, you can't escape that in London. Um, what another? Splendid bit of frontage that is with the hanging baskets. Um, the original sign on the top engraved into the stucco. Cheers. I think it was here the um, great train robbery was planned, if I remember correctly. One of its claims to fame. Um, I assume that's um, a reproduction, but um, you may or may not be aware that that is where the word crap comes from. Thomas Crapper. We're um, coming now on to uh, Belgrave Square. Quick glance at that down there. It's, um, you may get a sense from all the flags, there is uh, an area that's uh, filled with at embassies and or sort of diplomatic missions and consulates and ambassadors, re residences and so on. And uh, I had to head down here, if I remember correctly, there's a side street off here leading, I think this is, this is Wilton Terrace that goes to the Nags Head. This is Kinnerton Street, uh, which is really kind of at the northern edge of um, Belgravia where it uh, just about borders on to Knightsbridge um, and the uh, the Nags Head is here this may have to be a bit of a stealthy one as the owner is famously not a big fan of any kind of modern tech and I don't blame him um, so um let's see what sort of surreptitious glimpses of video we can get here Is, um, I think it's a beautiful pub, um, the Nags Head. Uh, as I said, they're um, you know, really not keen on phones. I'm guessing um, idiots with GoPros would be similarly um, uh, not particularly encouraged, but um, uh, it's quiet now and I'm outside, maybe I'll get away with it. So, um, cheers. Uh, Somehow, uh, Kinnerton Muse gives me a sense of being by the sea. I don't know if it's these uh, whitewashed cottages. I don't know. Cornwall-esque? I'm not sure. I'm sort of fascinated by those uh, curb markings. I think it's um, something to do with utilities or... Uh... Anyway. Um, there's the, uh, the 
Berkeley, Barkley. I can never remember which. Oops. Trying to get run over. Um, over there. If I remember correctly, down this little side street here, there is a shortcut to get to the next pub, but I haven't used it for quite a while and uh, the world has changed in the interim. So um, we'll see if this works or not. Well, uh, seems to be working thus far. Because uh, there's a couple of gates here that could be closed, but it um, looks like we're in luck. Down there is the Grenadier. is the, uh, the Grenadier, uh, which always used to be a Fuller's pub, but looks like it's changed hands. Um, some, yeah, I think uh, often quoted as the most haunted pub. I'm not sure what um, official ISO metric uh, is being used for uh, uh, an objective measurement of level of hauntedness there. Um, okay leaving the uh, Grenadier now. I think I might try and squeeze in one last pub. Heading back briefly to the, uh, the corner of um, Belgrave Square. Um, we sort of jump over the corner, if I remember correctly, and uh, head down another muse, somewhere over there. And uh, we'll find will probably be today's final pub. Groom place now. And, um, this turns into another rather pretty muse. Maybe the garages aren't all that... Um... and groom. Um, I think this is a pretty interesting muse. Um, the uh, houses across the road I think uh, currently go for in the region of four million quid each um, which is um, it's kind of fascinating when you consider the proximity to uh, the pub. Um, must be quite a niche market uh, for people who are happy to shell out four million quid um, to live in a pub beer garden. I mean, obviously, if I had four million quid, I would. Um, but um, I'd rather get the impression that your average multi-millionaire um, isn't much of a pub goer. Um, yeah, a bit of an addendum. Um, didn't somehow feel like going straight home, so um, instead going to uh, pay my respects at the old mitre. One of my uh, absolute favourite pubs of all time. Beautiful pub, but you can't really uh, escape the danger that people are having a bloody boring conversation in it. 
Uh, but there you go. That's uh, <laughs> that's that's pubs for you. Um, you know, open to all. Uh, even really dull people talking about their tedious, banal work lives. So, um, um, I think I may call it a day there. Uh, even though that was a weird adjunct, not Belgravia anymore, Toto, as I said, um, now in the Hatton Gardens. Fascinating uh, bit of London, replete with jewellery shops. I will uh, <laughs> probably sign off there. Another bit of a weird video, but there you go. Um, so anyway, thanks. Uh, thanks for sitting through that. Hope it wasn't too tedious. Maybe it was. Um, and um, I may or may not see you on the next one, depending on how tedious this one was. Bye.